Red Dead Redemption 2 is filled with many very weird and creepy Easter eggs. Today we're going to be solving the mystery of the scary ghost girl at Emerald Ranch, which is actually a very interesting and also very sad story. If y'all do go on to enjoy this video, well hopefully I can earn your thumbs up and your subscription, and let me know down below in the comments, what's your favorite mystery in Red Dead Redemption 2? As you pass by Emerald Ranch, you might think to yourself, well, this is a pretty nice, normal-looking place. It seems to be booming, thriving with employees, and I might like to live here. Well, just like everything in Red Dead Redemption 2, this place has a very dark and grim secret with the owner. And today I'm going to be solving the mystery of the supposed scary ghost girl at Emerald Ranch because it turns out this girl isn't a ghost at all. So what started this whole mystery is this girl who can be seen in the window sometimes in the day and most of the time at nighttime in the upstairs of this unenterable house at Emerald Ranch. And this house is actually owned by the man who owns and runs Emerald Ranch. Now, before investigating this mystery any further, you can take a look around Emerald Ranch and you're gonna find some interesting things. Firstly, you're gonna find a saloon that has been abandoned. We know it's been abandoned because, well, inside there's cobwebs everywhere. You could tell nobody's been here in a very long time. It's a very dark and creepy ambient atmosphere. Inside, we're going to find blood stains on the floor, bullet holes in the wall, bullets on the floor, and on a shelf, there actually is a picture of a girl. Not sure if it's the same girl we see in the window, but as time goes on and nighttime approaches, the picture gets very blurry and we can't really see it anymore. Now, outside of the saloon, we could also find a tombstone, and it's the grave of Joshua Burgess. And on the gravestone, it says, accidentally shot. And... That's it. That's all we know. This game doesn't come out and outright tell us what's going on here. We actually have to put two and two together, and we actually have to take part in two different missions to find out what's actually going on here at Emerald Ranch. Now, the first mission that actually gives us some insight and intel at what's going on at Emerald Ranch is the mission Spines of America, where Hosea and Arthur happen to be riding by Emerald Ranch, and we can actually ask Hosea about Emerald Ranch because he has talked to an employee there named Seamus. Seamus works at the fence at Emerald Ranch, and after Hosea tells us that Seamus doesn't talk much, but he can sometimes be a little bit talkative, well, Seamus had told Hosea that the rancher's daughter, the man who owns Emerald Ranch, the daughter used to be around, she used to be out and about all the time, very talkative, very lovely girl, and all of a sudden, she never leaves the house. Nobody hears from her, she doesn't talk, but sometimes we can see her staring out of the window. Hosea also goes on to say that the dad is most likely pretty sweet on the daughter, implying that she's most likely being sexually abused. And I'm actually going to let this cutscene play out for y'all in this dialogue so you can listen in for yourselves. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How oh, he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house? Probably just sweet on her. That what you call fun? Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. So that was very crazy right there, but that's not it. And sadly, there's not a separate side quest for Emerald Ranch where we beat up this mean dad, but we can actually beat this guy up. But near Cumberland Forest, we can actually come across a stranger. It's a woman whose horse has died, and it turns out that she temporarily works and lives at Emerald Ranch. And if we choose to give her a ride back to Emerald Ranch, well, she mentions how the owner is mean, he's strange, and how he bullies people, and how he has a daughter who never leaves the house, but sometimes you can see her staring out of the window. And she asked people at Emerald Ranch what's going on with the daughter, why she's so weird like this, and everybody told her to leave it alone and not worry about it because it's none of their business, because everybody is scared of this man. And she also mentions to us about the old saloon that's been shut down, and she one time went in there investigating, 
saw bullet holes in the wall and blood stains on the floor, and that's it. And now I'm gonna let you guys have a listen in on this cutscene. <laughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The likes in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Oh, we're getting close now. Now, what we learned from this lady is crazy, and you might think, okay, there's no way this mystery could get even bigger and we could find out anything else. Well, there's one last piece of evidence we can find that really blows this thing out of the water and allows us to solve the mystery at Emerald Ranch. And up near Cumberland Forest, we can find on the side of the road a mail wagon that has been destroyed. And there's a loot box inside here. If we open it up, we can actually find a letter from the girl who was in the house her cousin who lives in New York City, and she's worried that her cousin has not wrote back to her in many months. And she says, hey, instead of ignoring me, if that's what you're doing, if you're mad at me for some reason, just tell me to mind my own business. Just say something because she's growing worried. And she also says to her uncle, hey, if you're hiding the daughter and not letting her get these messages or respond, Please just realize that she's not a piece of property. She is your daughter. So something is going on here, and it's very grim, and it's very crazy, but I'm going to pause for a moment and let y'all take a look at this letter for yourselves. So the intel we get from this letter puts everything together. It solves the whole mystery because the letter also mentions Joshua Burgess, this man who was buried outside of the saloon. And it turns out that there was some altercation at the saloon and Joshua was accidentally, with air quotations around that, killed, just like it says on his tombstone. And what I'm guessing is the dad was jealous of the boyfriend because the dad sexually abuses the daughter, so he accidentally killed Joshua at the saloon at Emerald Ranch. That's why the saloon is abandoned. That's why Joshua was accidentally killed and buried outside. And the reason the daughter stays inside is because the dad sexually abuses her. He locks her up and she's probably super depressed and just at life and doesn't have a will to live anymore. So a rundown of events, once again, to recap is there's a mystery girl at Emerald Ranch who never comes out the house. We see her in the windows at night. Her boyfriend was accidentally killed by the dad because he's jealous that she likes him and not the dad. The dad sexually abuses her, locks the daughter up, stops letters from coming in in any way possible. That's why we find this broken down, destroyed mail wagon. And he is hiding his secret from the whole world. And everybody is scared to talk about it because people pretty much know what's going on. So this is a very crazy and a very creepy mystery at Emerald Ranch, but we have solved it. So... If y'all did enjoy this video, well, hopefully I did earn your thumbs up and your subscription. I love mysteries and games, and I do plan on solving a bunch more 
in Red Dead Redemption 2. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. But with that said, that's all the time we have for today. My name is Zach Cox. Thank y'all for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next video.